uh, Moody family have been friends of my family going right the way back. And that all started from when my mother was a company secretary and a personal secretary to Mr. Moody in the early 70s at the foundation of the first Gordon Moody House. I know from the stories of my, from my mother that I would be um, brought up in a pram and left in the front room while Mr Maud Moody would um, dictate speeches uh, to my mum which he would write down in shorthand and he would wander the house um, uh, composing his speeches and letters which she would shorthand and then type up. And that's where I think Mrs Moody got stuck looking after me a lot while that was going on. And that's really how we sort of got, got to know the family. Um, from there, I was uh, christened by um, Mr Moody. Again, I think it was more of an excuse as a party than anything about saving my soul. Um, they then moved down to Salcombe and we continued to be friends with the family. If you wanted me to give a uh, direct quote I can remember from Gordon, um, Moody, it would be the um, story of they, they lived at the top of the hill um, in Salcombe. So we would go and dig sand castles um, uh, at the beach. And then as a young child, I'd be lagging behind as we'd walk up the hill. And uh, Mr. Moody's uh, favorite saying as I'd be walking slow, slowly up, um, when you come to the steepest parts, it's to quicken the pace and lengthen the stride. And that was very much uh, Mr. Moody's approach to all adversity. So when you're faced with a challenge, um, you don't shirk away from it. And if anything, you, do, you uh, uh, increase your, your effort to, take, to deal with that challenge. And it's probably, it's the only direct quote I can remember, but it's the one which has stuck with me the most and probably one which says the most about it.